guys, my name is Jo. I'm the owner and founder of Yoga Yard Yoga Studio. We are the yoga studio that runs from Boulder V in the Yard Gym. So, in the current climate that we're all living in, this crazy time of the pandemic, we've taken all our classes online, which is what you're going to be experiencing today. So, get yourself a mat, get yourself a bottle of water if you need it. We're going to be doing a half an hour immunity boosting yoga session. So once you're ready, you can come to a seated position, just sitting on those sit bones, nice and tall, relax the spine and shoulders to get into your space, and from here, pull the shoulders back and down, bring your hands onto your knees with your palms facing up. Okay, so in yoga, we use a nasal breath, we breathe in and out of the nose as we move through class, and working to strengthen your immune system, we very much work with breath. And movement in our yoga series. So as we flow from posture to posture, really tap into that breath, find it, breathe deeply into the body and really start to oxygenate and fill that body with fresh energy, fresh oxygen, just getting rid of anything in the body that no longer serves you. So to get started, we're going to start with the breathing exercise. So you can bring your hands to heart center, Bring your thumbs to your heart sternum, keeping that nice and long spine. You can close your eyes. And all we're going to do from here is just start to breathe into the body. And when I say breathe into the body, obviously it's a natural thing to breathe. But the beauty of breath is that we actually have control over it. So you can control how you breathe into your body. It's our only life force that we can actually control. So as you start to breathe, really notice the inhale through the nose, through the back of the throat, into the lungs. And as you exhale, notice it flowing back out through the back of the throat, through the nose. And we carry on, just finding an awareness with that breath. Good. And from here, we're going to start to move into that control of breath. So we're going to move into nice deep breaths. So as you inhale, take a nice deep breath, pushing that breath into your belly, letting your belly rise up. And as you exhale, let that belly fall, pushing the breath back out through the nose. You can keep your eyes closed. We're going to do five more of those. So nice big inhale into the belly, let it rise up. And we exhale out. Four more, big inhale, and exhale, three more, biggest breath as, as you've got, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, last one, big inhale, and exhale. Good. Coming back to a nice soft breath. You might feel a bit lightheaded after the deep breaths. It's good. It's filling your body with fresh breath. So for the next few moments, just hold here once again, focusing on the breath. I'm going to talk while you focus on your breathing. We do this act of focusing on our breath to really start to slow our minds down. So it's very common to move through life with your breath, chatty chatting, thinking about a million different things. And by focusing on your breath, you start to slow your mind, focusing on one thing, bringing the stress levels down on the body, lowering the cortisol levels, and just starting to relax the whole body, releasing stress, and therefore working into immunity, good health, and wellness. So for the next 10 breaths, Just focus on it, rolling in and out of your nose. And it's very normal for your mind to be wondering. All you need to do is acknowledge the thoughts, bring your awareness back to your breath. You've got about seven more breaths. Good work. One more inhale. From here, we're going to take another big breath in, lifting our hands to sky. So inhale, arms rise up. And we exhale, bring hands to heart center. We're going to do two more. You're welcome to keep your eyes closed or open. Big inhale, lift hands to sky. 
and we exhale back to heart center. Last one, big breath, inhale, rise up, and we exhale, hands to heart center. Good work. We're now going to get into some movements. If your eyes are closed, you can open them. You can come over those knees, or if you'd like to get there, get into the front of your mat in a tabletop position. So for tabletop, your hands are stacked under your shoulders, your knees are stacked under your hips. So almost like you're balancing a cup of tea on your back to start off with. Roll the shoulders down, keep the tummy nice and tight. And we're going to move you around to cat cow. So we're going to go nice and slowly to really get into the posture. So on the next inhale, we move to cow, so drop the belly. Your chest and chin come up, shoulders back, really feeling the chest and the stomach open up to the front of your mat. We hold for the inhale and exhale. One more deep inhale. And on the exhale, move into cat. So tuck your tailbone, arch that back. So very much like a cat waking up from a sleep, stretching the spine out, tucking your tailbone, opening the air between the shoulder blades. You've got two more breaths. Good, one more inhale, and exhale, moving back to cow, inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest and chin up, and we hold for three breaths, finding that breath, focusing on it. Good, moving to cat, one more inhale, and on the exhale, cat posture, tuck the tailbone open up, this one should feel really good, stretching out that back. If your knees are getting sore, you're welcome to grab a towel, something to put under them. One more inhale. And exhale, one more round, moving into cow. One more inhale, drop belly, lift chest and chin up. The whole chest, getting a beautiful stretch in the front of the body. One more inhale. And we exhale back to cat, nice round spine. Good, feeling the shoulders stretch, the back stretch out. Hold for a nice deep inhale. And on the exhale, we come back to a neutral spine. And we're going to start to just move around from side to side. So you really want to get into your shoulders, get into your hips. So working to immunity health is also very much working to loosening up the body. So getting into the joints, getting into the muscles, releasing lactic acid, releasing stiffness, releasing energy buildup, and just getting things moving around the body and flowing nicely. From here you can change direction, just moving, you can either go circular, whatever you do on the first side, just balancing out the body, there's no right and wrong. Good, let's take a nice deep inhale, and exhale, we come back to all fours. From here, we're going to move to a down dog. So, for down dog, round into those hands. Keep your fingers nice and wide. Just your really weight evenly around those fingers. From here, tuck your toes behind you. So, getting nice onto those toes, feeling a bit of a foot stretch. We're going to hold you up an inhale and exhale. Move into down dog. And let's inhale, slowly start to lift the knees off the ground, lift the hips to sky. And as we exhale, we sit into down dog. So for down dog, it really isn't important to get your heels flat on the ground, as you can see mine are not. It's more about just pulling those heels to the back of the mat, lifting the tailbone up and back towards the back of the mat, rounding the shoulders down, and releasing your head and neck towards the ground. So feeling a beautiful stretch down the whole back of the legs, your glutes, your lower back, and then really release your head down. You want to give that neck a nice, soft feeling, Pulling the whole spine open. Let's hold for three breaths. Good work. One more inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, you can look up to the top of the mat. And as you exhale, slowly walk your feet. Some of you might need to get up and walk to the front of the mat. That's absolutely fine, however you want to get there. When you get to the front of the mat, we're going to meet in a forward fold. So for forward fold, you can really release your body nice and heavy. You can keep your knees bent, that's absolutely fine. Or if you feel like you want to straighten them up, you get a really good stretch behind the knee, you're welcome to do that. Whatever you decide to do, release your head, let your neck hang heavy. This is a really good stretch for the back of the legs, for the spine. It also gives your head a fresh flow of blood rushing to the brain, which is really good for immunity and good health. And from here, you can grab your elbows and move into ragdoll. 
and to start to sway from side to side. This should also feel really good in your back or feel a bit stiff and might feel a bit tender, which is also fine. You've got three breaths. Good. One more inhale. And exhale, coming back to center, releasing the hands. We're going to slowly roll that spine to a standing position. So as you start to inhale, you can start to lift the body up, unraveling. And when you get to the top, take a nice deep exhale, hands to heart center. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart. We're going to run you through deep breaths, hands to sky, big inhale, rise and exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do two more. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, back down. Last one. Big breath. Inhale. And exhale. Good work. We're going to run through a nice slow flow, just getting the energy moving in the body. So we move to a high mountain. So from here, round your feet, tuck your tailbone, shoulders back and down, the left hands to sky, inhale, high mountain, rise up. And on the exhale, forward folds, you can bring your hands together, coming down to the ground, back into that posture we visited earlier, nice, relaxed neck, hold for the inhale. And exhale for halfway lift, bring your hands up to your shin, Draw through the crown of the head to the top of your mat and through the tailbone to the back of your mat. Nice and long spine. Hold for the inhale. And on the exhale, ground your hands, your right foot steps back, drawing the right knee onto the ground into a low lunge. Now you can keep your right foot tucked or you can untuck it, whatever's better for your knee. Your left knee is stacked above your left ankle. You want to make sure you're not going over the ankle, that can cause injury. Good, nice and set up nice and strong. Your right hip is forward, your left hip is back. And from here we inhale, lift hands to sky. And we're going to hold for five breaths. This is a really beautiful posture to get into your hips. It releases stress. We hold a lot of stress in our hips, a lot of energetic stress in our hips. We've got three more breaths. Keep the shoulders down and relaxed. One more inhale. And on the exhale, you can release your hands back to the ground. Keep that back foot tuck, tucked or tucking it. If you untucked it, lift your back knee off the ground. We're going to lift the front leg into the sky for three-legged dog. So front leg goes back. Inhale, three-legged dog. And we exhale back to down dog. So once again, pull those heels down, tailbone up. Hold for the inhale. And exhale. On your legs, inhale, look to the top of the mat. And as you exhale, once again, you can walk those feet to meet your hands or however you want to get there. Do what works for you. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale. We halfway lift, bring the chest up, getting back into that nice flat back. Hold for the inhale. And exhale, forward fold. Big breath, high mountain. Inhale, rise up. And we exhale, hands to heart center. Take another nice deep breath. Big inhale. And exhale. Good. Moving over to the other side. We always balance out both sides of yoga. High mountain, big inhale, rise up. And we exhale, forward fold to the ground, hanging nice and heavy. Hold for the inhale. And exhale. We halfway lift, nice and long spine, hold for the inhale. And on the exhale, ground those hands, your left leg steps back this time into a low lunge. So once again, your back foot can be tucked or untucked, do what feels good for your body. Your front knee is stuck above that ankle. When you're ready, lift hands to sky, we hold you, that left hip pulling forward, shoulders down, pinkies in, nice and long spine, always keeping that tummy nice and tight to support your lower back. Finding that breath, following it in and out of the body with three more breaths. Good, one more inhale. And on the exhale, you can release those hands back to the ground. Once again, keep your back foot tucked or tuck it if it's nice. Lift the back knee off the ground. Three-legged dog, your front leg moves to the sky. Inhale, rise up. And we exhale, down dog. Hold it for three breaths. Good, one more inhale. 
and exhale. On your next inhale, go to the front of the mat. On your exhale, slowly walk those feet to meet your hands. And we're going to hang out once again in a forward fold. This is such a good posture for the body. It's such a nice relaxing posture. There's so many benefits. We visit it often. You can just hold for three more breaths. Keeping that head nice and heavy. Good. One more inhale. And exhale. Halfway left. Join that nice flat spine. Inhale. And we exhale, forward fold, high lunge, big breath. Inhale, rise up. And we exhale, hands to heart center. Good work, take another nice big breath in. Inhale, high mountain. And we exhale. Good work. And from here, you can just close your eyes and your hands to heart center. Put your thumbs onto your chest. And once again, just find in that breath. So focus on your breath, that one thing, that life force. And then taking control over it, breathing nice and deeply into that belly. Good work. One more deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Good work. From here, we're going to move to chair pose. So bring your feet up distance apart, ground into those heels, bend your knees, tuck your tailbone, and sit back as if you're sitting into an imaginary chair. You want to be able to see your toes. So you can either keep your hands at heart center if your shoulders are a little bit stiff. Otherwise, the full posture is to lift those hands up into the air. Shoulders relax, making sure you remember to keep that tailbone tucked. It's not a very comfortable posture. It does require a little bit of work. So we're going to hold you for five breaths and deep into it, tummy tight. Finding that breath, using your breath to get through the posture. So focusing on your breath and breathing deeply. Taking your focus off the difficulty of the posture, using your breath to get through it. Good work. One more inhale. And on the exhale, release down into your forward fold. Let your back go. You want you to wiggle your legs out. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Coming back to you. Feet of distance apart. We're halfway left. Inhale up. And exhale, forward fold. High mountain. Inhale, hands to sky. And exhale, hands to heart center. Moving back into chair pose. This time keeping your hands at heart center. So sitting back, making sure those knees are behind your toes. Tucking your tailbone. This time we're going to inhale, past the chest. And on the exhale, we twist over to the right hand side. So you want to check that your knees are nice and even. And the weight is evenly distributed between both your feet. And remember, if isn't too much for you, you can always just keep your arms like this. And just twist over, even on that knee. The point is to get into the twist of the body, which really helps with the detoxing, which helps with immunity and good health. You've got five breaths here. Good work. One more inhale. And exhale. You can release high mountain. Inhale, rise up. And we exhale forward, fold, let that go. Three deep breaths. Once again, you can pedal your feet out, your legs out, and your feet. Anytime you take a nice big breath up the mouth. One more inhale. And exhale. Moving over to the other side. We halfway left. Inhale up. And exhale forward. Fold. High mountain. Inhale. Rise up. And on the exhale, hands to heart center. We sit back into our chair pose. So this time again, keeping your hands at heart center. Always remember that tuck of the tailbone, tight body, tight tummy. Knees nice and even. Hold for the inhale. And exhale. We twist. Inhale, puff up. And on the exhale, twist over to the opposite side now, your left side. So once again, you can even keep your elbow in the right knee or the full posture to twist all the way around. Your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Your gaze is to the floor, keeping your knees even, your weight distributed evenly through both feet. Three more breaths. Good. One more inhale and exhale. 
release high mountain, inhale, rise up. And on the exhale, forward fold. You can walk those legs out. Three deep breaths. Good, one more inhale, and exhale. Coming back to your feet, a distance apart, we halfway left, inhale up. Exhale, forward fold, high mountain, inhale, rise up. And we exhale, hands to heart center. Keeping your feet a distance apart, we're gonna move through to a lunge. So from here, ground to those feet, your right foot kicks up towards the glutes, Balancing onto your left leg, and we're going to hold it just for a moment to get a little bit of a balance. Hold for the inhale, and on the exhale, step that right leg back into a nice high lunge. As if your high lunge, your back knee is off the ground, your front knee is stuck above your ankle, and when you really arms rise to sky, we hold it for five breaths. So really coming up onto the ball of that back foot, your right hip comes forward. Keeping that nice long spine tongue nice and tight. Three more breaths. One more inhale. And on the exhale, we open up to your warrior two. So for warrior two, your back foot is parallel to the back of your mat. Your front foot is intersecting the middle of your back foot. Hips are opening up to the side of the room. Pulling out of the back arm as well as the front arm, your gaze so over your front hand. You've got five breaths. And again, finding that breath, those nice deep breaths into the belly. Good. One more inhale. And exhale. Good work. We're going to move to a reverse warrior. So keeping those feet exactly where they are, your front arm comes up, your back arm drops down. And a nice big inhale. And we hold here for two more breaths. Good. One more inhale. And on the exhale, extend it side angle. The front arm comes down to the inside of that left knee. Your right arm comes up and over. Your gaze can be up or down, do what works for you. You've got three more breaths. Good, one more inhale. And exhale, coming up to star. So both feet face the corners of the mat. Tuck your tailbone in nice and tight, lengthen up, hold for a big inhale. And on the exhale, we sit down to horse, which is Putting those elbows down, open your hands up, hips nice and wide, hold for the inhale. And exhale, back to star, inhale up. And this time you can shuffle your feet to face the side of the mat, Tail, tuck the tailbone, big breath in, and we exhale to a forward fold. So give you a nice stretch out the back of your legs, release your head and neck nice and heavy. You've got five breaths here and a nice wide legged forward fold. Keeping that tailbone pulling up to the back of the room. One more inhale and exhale. We come back to star. So shuffling those feet out to the side of the mat again. Arms rise up. Inhale and we exhale back down to horse. Good. Back to star. Inhale up and we exhale. Warrior two to the back of your mat. So we're doing both sides. So your front foot, your left foot now is parallel to the front of the mat. And your opposite foot is intercepting the middle of that back foot. You've got five breaths. So your front knee is stacked above that ankle, pulling out of the back arm as well as the front arm, keeping a nice tall spine. Finally, those nice deep breaths. Good. One more inhale. And exhale. Throwing our arms into a reverse warrior, that front arm comes up, that back arm drops down. Really feeling that stretch at the front of the body. We hold it here. Good. Moving to extended side angle. One more inhale. And on the exhale, that front arm drops down, back arm comes up and over. Your gaze can be up or down. Keeping those feet nice and strong. Three more breaths.
One more inhale and exhale. Good work. From here, we come back up to star. So feet out to the side of the mat, tuck your tailbone, nice big inhale. And we exhale down to horse. Back to star, but your feet come to the side of the mat again. We inhale up and we exhale into our forward fold, releasing down nice and heavy. Good work. One more nice big inhale and exhale. From here, if you come to a halfway lift, pull your chest up. Walk your feet together and we come down into a seated position. So well done. We're going to move on to the mat now for a little bit of stretching. So you can come around, bring your feet out in front of you, put the soles of the feet together, your knees nice and wide, bring it to the forward fold. So big inhale, rise up. And on the exhale, we forward fold over those feet. And once again, let that neck and head hang nice and heavy, always bring your weight, opening up the back of the body. And really tapping into that nice deep breathing. So your back is nice and open. Feel the back lift up as you inhale. And feel it fall as you exhale. You've got five more breaths. And once again, use this time. If your mind is racing, just notice the thoughts, bring it back to your breath. One more inhale. And exhale. Good work. From here, you can slowly pull yourself up. Left with your left leg in front of you, bring your right leg over your left leg. Into a little twist. We inhale, arms rise up. And on the exhale, your right hand goes behind you. Your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. We inhale, lift up. And on the exhale, twist over to the side of the room. You can even look over that right shoulder, depending on how deep you feel you'd like to twist. It's up to you. You can close your eyes and just follow that breath. Five breaths. Good work. One more inhale. And exhale. Coming back to center, release your twist. Inhale, rise up. And on the exhale, you grab that leg, pull it out in front of you. Right leg goes long. Grab your left leg, pull it in. Your left foot to the opposite side of your right leg. Your left hand behind you. Inhale, rise up. And on the exhale, right elbow to the outside of your left knee, twisting over. Once again, you can look over that left shoulder if you'd like. Or just sit on the twist and close your eyes and just focus on that breath for five deep breaths. Good work. One more inhale and exhale. Releasing that. Come to center. Big inhale, arms rise up. And on the exhale, grab that foot. We pull it out and we move into a cross-legged seating position. Good work. So getting that sit bone nice and solid on the ground, sitting up nice and tall. You can bring your hands onto your knees, palms up. Tuck the chin, close your eyes. And we're just going to breathe into the body for a couple of more moments. Going back to those nice deep breaths into the belly area. Ending class like we started. Let's go for five deep breaths in your own time. And remembering as you move through life, this deep breathing is always there for you. In moments of stress, in moments of anxiety, it is a really good way to calm the body, to reduce the stress response. Let's do five more. Good. One more big breath. Inhale. And exhale. Good work. You can open your eyes, bring your hands to heart center. We're going to take one more big breath. Inhale through the nose as we lift our hands to sky. And exhale out the mouth as we bring our hands back down. So inhale, rise up. And we exhale. 
Thank you so much for joining me today for our 30 minute immune boosting practice. Please feel free to join us for more classes if you would like. We have them running online seven days a week. Stay well, go well, namaste.